So you have Puzla. We hope you have a fun and challenging time spent. Uh, so let's dig in. Though this is one way to open up Puzla, it's not always desired. And closing it back together can be even more challenging. This is how we do it. If you are watching this video, you have probably already opened it, in one way or another. So first let's see how to close it back together. Find a solid surface, where you can get a firm grip over a whole piece. Slide it over the edge of the surface a little bit, so you'd have a better access with the rubber band. Add the side blocks, one on the top and other to bottom. Get a hold of a rubber band with all your fingers and stretch it over side blocks. A rubber band should fit into grooves on the edges of side blocks. Though, to get a tight hold we need to bend this rubber double, but not yet. Turn it over. Repeat binding as the first side, but make it double this time. Turn it over once again and double up the first side. It's done, and should hold fine. When doubling up the first rubber band right away, it could pop apart from the other side that's open. So let's try to open it in a safe way. Again, do it on the solid surface, a bit over the edge, get a good steady grip over side blocks. Start by releasing rubber band from one side, from a double into a single. Turn around and remove the band from there completely. Then turn again and get rid of the band over there. Turning a piece over holds a danger of explosion, but once getting hold of it, it rarely happens. There are a few more things that can cause unwanted disassembly. Generally, any kind of bending could cause an explosion. Because blocks are coated for a longer lifetime, they can have tendency to slide when bent. So there you have it. Taming your puzzle can be annoying as well as satisfying mastering process. Consider it a prank factor of packaging. It's at least 100% leftovers reuse of elite synthesizers wooden details.